Tabakara is back. Anna Carly. Yes, that's only supposed to have five drops in it. She's so generous. Oh, very profound. Holy moly. It's kind of an atar. It is an atar. It's good stuff. I am wearing uh, a different atar. St. Salim's the Royal Blend here. This stuff is, whoo, it's packed too. It's packed too. Double packings. I'm smelling very Eastern, as some people call me. I'm Brandon, Therapeutic Fragrance. Glad you clicked on the channel. Watching my fragrance journey. Watching me review these perfumes and dig into them with my unique take as I focus on particular areas of their composition, especially their bases. This is a heavy based tar oud. Channel will always have oud. Channel will always feature oud. Oud is in here. It's beautiful. Stay tuned for the review. Right, to back Ara, Anna Carly, one more time at the juice. Beautiful, beautiful juice. Loaded there. 15 ml, $215. It's expensive per ml. If we do that, it's over 10. Good thing it's an Atar. You guys don't know, don't know what an Atar is. It means there are no carrier oils in it. It is 100% ingredients. It needs applied differently. I have a video on that. One day I will go back to all my Atar videos and oil videos and put in that video. That's what I made it for. Um, I'm going to go 75-25 on this, 75 masculine, 25 feminine. Don't let that scare you off if you like the notes in here. Launched in 2015, getting a 4.47 out of 5 on Fragranica, 18 votes. Christian Carbonell is the nose behind it. Um, he's doing good stuff. Top, Devana, Cedar, Middle, Gurjan Balsam, Cipriol, Oud, Base, Sandalwood, Labdanum, and Musk. Pretty simple ingredients. Easy to come off strong and beautiful. Easy to get wrong. Let's get into this. So um, I think this is one of the days where I had like 30 samples. I, I One of the fun things for me is just pick one, put it on. I... I didn't, Ave Perfume, first time I found him, I literally found her because of one house. And um, I, I mean, I was like in Disneyland and her said, I'm like, how does she have all these and put samples in for everyone? So I loaded up, just bought sample after sample, just bought it. So I, I get my package literally like three days later. Super, and she's on the East Coast, super fast shipping. A lot of people have I learn a lot from her. You guys that aren't using her, check her out. I, I have to put this preface in there every time because I'm so hyped. I hype the stuff I love. I hype the people I love. They're not giving me nothing. She's not giving me nothing. I've spent all my money with her. She's an awesome person in our community. She's done over 2,500 reviews herself. Um, I mean, she's somebody to support for sure. So I get my package. First thing I like to do is just blind put on something. I did. This, this is what I chose. And um, I was like, what? And I probably chose it because it was the littlest. And I, I did not remember it was a tar. I didn't even remember buying a tar. Swear to God, did not put it on. I smell like, what is this? Stops me. I'm like, this is oud. This is sandalwood. Just start naming, you know, the notes in there, especially the oud. And uh, typing, looking it up. I'm like, this is God. So it was, it was one of those. It was just like a boom moment. One of those moments. Uh, it's not only you know, real oud, it's it's really good oud that they, they chose to put in this also. Uh, I stayed addicted to this thing forever, pulling in sniffs. Oud has over 120 aroma chemicals in it. It just changes perfumes. I wish more perfumers would use real stuff, get a hold of it, upcharge it, especially in a tar formats like this where it doesn't break the bank, just so people can really get what this stuff does to perfumes and ingredients. When I go wild and hyped up, it's because I know, I know, I know what a, a powerful green like Oud can do to everything else. It changes the game. The game's changed forever, literally. It's a whole new level. It's, it's all-stars versus the minor league. 
dead serious. That's what who does the perfumes. You can smell it. I get happy. Put it on. I'm happy. It, it just amps up everything. And the wearing is just up and down all day long. It's an experience that enhances your mood, enhances your day, enhances everything you do. Whether you work out, whatever, it, it works with you. It sweats into your body, doesn't over project. It, where, where it's over 100 degrees every day in the desert, there's ouds made for this, it's grown out of the earth. It's made for that enjoyment there too. It's just an amazing oil. Okay, I digress. I have tons of this rants going on, on my channel, but um, that's how excited I got when I started smelling this. Like, finally, I mean, you just get those days where you know, I put on those Abraxan bombs, this makes up for it. Uh, the Devon is a super smart note. I like uh, being used here, it plays perfectly into my skin and works off of me in the wearing. I, I can't ex really explain how it comes off. It, it brings more of a medicinal property to the oud, to my nose. Um, when, when I wear it, you just put it on there and it just pulls out more of them. And that's my one of my favorite notes of sandalwood and oud. It seems to just heighten those notes in the oud and sandalwood for me. Supriel can be dangerous. It's used here perfectly. It enhances the heart of the fragrance. You do get a top heart and base in this wearing. Uh, cedar instead of a base has no chance to be a base against the, the nice dose of oud used and sandalwood used. Cedar is like an aromatic. You you pick up you pick up the cedar note perfectly. It's on top of the whiff instead of the bottom heavy bottom. It's just a nice woody cedar aromatic on top of the tar. Um, instead of using a patchouli or anything like that, they go gersham. It's fine. It's earthy. I love my patchoulis. I won't be picky. Um, it, it, it provides enough earthiness to, to enhance the base. Sure, could have been a, a patchouli or vetiver, but um, I, I, gersham, fine. It, it, it works. <laughs> nice, nice earthy note into the dry down. This lasts about six hours on the skin. The final dry down, a couple hours, just like a golden musk, slightly fresh, sweet. Uh, that's what you're left with. Um, the oud never really gets barnyardy or anything. Very medicinal, very just up and down. Um, a little bit of aquatic properties to the oud and the whiffs. Um, great attar wearing overall. Scoring tobacco, Anna Carly, 14 out of 15 for addictiveness, projection sillage, 4 out of 5. Longevity is a 4 out of 5. Composition as a whole, 22 out of 25. Ingredients and price to melt, 20 out of 25. Tops a 10 out of 10. The heart a 5 out of 5. The base a 7 out of 10. Total score of 86. Own a bottle if you can. Get the 15 ml. Get a decant. This is the sample will last. That that's an easy five wearings on it. That she'll give you. I she says only five drops up there. This is more than five drops. I've already worn that three times, and um, only once heavy, and the other three just on one arm uh, in one area. So real light on the other two times, but real heavy on one. So you probably that's more than five drops. There's no way it's five drops. Thank you, Ave Perfume. Where do I see uh, wearing the signature scent all year long? Who do I see wearing this one? Lance Reddick. And uh, how a full swipe. So you dip the whole stick in the oil, one, one wrist, and then whatever's left across the neck behind the ears on that, and then rub it all in and repeat the same areas and try to float it in some hair areas. Women, long hair, in your hair. Beautiful, see how it's projection. That's what I have, Anna Carly. Thanks for being here. Peace out. Be blessed.